everybody. I have a chore to do in the next couple hours and uh, show you what I've got to work with. This is this is our well house. It's a brick building that was here when we moved Diane. We renovated it. We uh, got got to a point, a stopping point of uh, on the paint job here. And actually now it's time to come back and sand and redo this because this is the west side so it gets and it's a straight on gets uh, gets the weather um, so this may be a project next spring late summer who knows but it does need to get fixed and then up on the top you can see that piece that's a little bit high when they ha uh, if you have a problem with your pump they have to go down and so they get up on the roof and they uh, uh, put their equipment through that hole up there that allows them to uh, come in here somehow, I'm not sure. I think they probably have to take a panel off. But anyway, um, this is the inside. I have a lot of, I have, this is a refrigerator, freezer that I've got full of stuff. It's not uh, as full as I thought, but that goes back in the house. Um, could use some more. Those are straw raspberries that I bought in bulk to make things with. I've got my milk replacer in here and some puppy food that I got when we had a puppy at one time. This is my original freezer we bought when we first got here. And it's got beef in here and packaged pork, um, some other stuff, some chicken. It needs to get filled back up. But anyway, it's my gardening stuff and I collected these boxes when I got produce from um, a distributor but I have all this stuff in here that needs to come out and be uh, rearranged some stuff needs to be thrown because this heater is what we turn on for our pipes so our water pipes don't freeze and our temperatures are going to be um, I don't know the evening in at night during the night it's going to be in the 20s get warmed up to like low 40s like it is today um and so i just need to get this cleaned up so reorganized so i'm going to do that i'm going to uh set this up so you can watch um jerry will edit out what doesn't need to be in here for a little uh winter prep video There's nothing to watch at this point, but I think you can hear the siren. It's a 10 o'clock Wednesday, once a month, I think, check of our um, tornado warning. And it's across the, it's uh, just the crows fly away. Not a totally straight crow's line, but there is a tornado shelter on the other side of this white building. There's the freeway and then at a company called Joplin Trust, they have the tornado shelter. So um, our 911 service does a test of all the sirens in the surrounding area. I think at the same time and the same day, um, but I'm not positive, but for us out here in the Stark City, Natonia area, um, that's our siren check. So I have the main part cleaned out. I want to keep this kind of free so I can get into this freezer without leaning over something at the door. Right here we've got our um, oh, smoker chips. This bucket has some in there too. We had to empty out what was in the smoker when we did our um, turkey, I think it was, because there's only there's certain pellet flavors you should do with certain types of meat, and what we had in the smoker for beef was not appropriate or was not right for uh, the turkey. So this has, I think, apple and turkey uh, pellets that we need to use up. Or maybe it's a mix, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, I'm trying to keep this free over here so I can get in there or somebody else can. So I might have some things along here. I've got this corner cleared out. <coughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but I'm leaving it here. And this particular hose is connected to the spigot so that when it freezes and I can't get water out of the frost free out there, dirty window, way out there to, um, let's see if I can get a better picture. It's on the other side of that hut, but um, if it freezes up and I can't get the water out of there, then we made this alternate source to uh, fill up for the chickens. And if we had uh, bottle calves out there, that's what this hose stays here on. And these batteries are sitting on a piece of wood, so they're not like on the concrete. So that part's okay. So I found a box of old style Christmas lights that I cleaned out and put into a newer box. And I have in this bag over here, lights that go over bushes and stuff that I may use one day. I'm not sure. I didn't realize I had them and I had an idea and then I didn't want to buy more lights. So I'm thinking I'm putting that stuff in the corner there because it's not something I need to get access to. Um, and I want to keep this battery charger out where it's accessible and they don't have to climb through stuff or lift it up or whatever to if we have you know battery issues. And then other than that, I have a couple, I have some paint, some um, oyster shell that, that the uh, mice have gotten into. My mice uh, bucket I will put back in there. I know I had to put more mice stuff in there. You have to be careful. This is what we use, but the doors are always closed because if the cats or the dogs get a hold of it, it's it's uh it's not good so I have to pay attention to our doors and whatever so I think once I get everything put away I'll come back and show you how it worked so here's the end result I'm not using the inside of the refrigerator so I can block it off a little bit beef cubes will get used up and the shavings I need to go out to my nest boxes and uh, redo those the, some of the chickens have decided to sleep in there so um, it's quote unquote getting crapped up. I need to clean that out. And the umbrella stroller and the uh, play a lot pad or whatever, I'll find a home for those. As you can see, this corner is pretty well cleaned out. That's our bucket of mouse um, uh, deterrence. And then the hose that's put to the faucet down there for future use. And as I said, there's the uh, box back in the corner with a feed bag of lights on it. A uh, few little extra things I'm not sure where to put, but they're kind of out of the way. Chair that needs to be put probably in the attic in the uh, tack room. I moved um, a, bar, a 50 gallon barn pane and my um, chicken oyster shell back behind the heater. I've got the heater plugged in. It's working quite well. I cleaned out this corner over here. I've got my suitcases. I need to get this blue one uh, covered up. But I went through the menagerie of garden uh, fertilizer, things like that, uh, and threw some away and packed, boxed up the rest and put them out in the extra building I have that has all my other garden stuff. So the door opens farther. There's room to walk in here. Uh, I'm not worried about the styrofoam on the floor because that's um, just the way it is. Um, in the spring, I'll come in here and probably, in the spring, not probably, but I will vacuum all this stuff out here to get it just a little bit cleaner. And I can get into my freezer. So the main thing was to get it cleaned up enough and uh, to turn the heater on for the um, cold weather we're going to have string light string got caught up and um, success thanks for watching click on the like book light like sorry like button lips are getting cold and uh, subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you on the next video have a great day Bye.